Hello everybody, it is Tom here with the Builds with Blocks crew and today we have got an exciting video. Mega Constructs have revealed their Halo Infinite sets for their first 2020 wave and there are some truly truly fantastic looking sets here. So before we get into this we're not going to touch on the Heroes, Warthog Rally, Recon Getaway or Pelican Inbound, because those are all sets that we have discussed in various forms here on Podcast Evolve before. Today, we are going to talk about the brand new sets which have been revealed today, July the 1st, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what they may mean for Halo Infinite. So, let's get into it. Up first we have got two smaller packs which seem to follow a similar format to the customizer packs that we usually get and these are UNSC Marine Gear Pack and UNSC Spartan Armor Pack. So the Marine Gear Pack comes with two Spartans, one of whom is a Radio Man and one of whom is a female Spartan. This wave does introduce female Sp uh, Marines even to the mix. Nearly got confused there. <laughs> um, and alongside them we get a Crimson version of the Elite Mercenary. So some cool accessories here, uh, leg straps for the Marines, the radio like I mentioned, Helmets for both marines, you can remove the female marine's helmet as well and she's got hair underneath. Uh, an energy sword for the elite, uh, plasma grenade and some other weapons here as well. So looking really, really good. And then for the UNSC Spartan armor pack, we have got a Spartan grenadier with the new drum fed weapon uh, with a removable scope on top it looks like. We have got a Spartan recon with a MA-37 and a blast effect, and a Brute Warrior with a gravity hammer. So it looks like those Brute Warriors are going to be the equivalent of Brute Miners. They seem to be popping up everywhere at the moment, and seem to uh, be quite a prevalent enemy within Halo Infinite. Now the two Spartans here have got the same colour schemes, so you could interswap them if you so desired, uh, to make characters that have just got one colour scheme on them. So, two really cool affordable packs. I think the Marine Gear Pack especially is going to be popular. You can amass an army of Marines, which I think we all want in our collections. Um, and we're going to now move on to the first buildable set. So the first buildable set we have here is Banshee Breakout. I reckon this set is going to be around the $20 mark and this includes a banished Banshee, the design of which is supposed to emulate the design that we will see in Halo Infinite alongside a green Spartan Recon and an Elite Ultra. Now the Elite Ultra does have the focus rifle from Halo Reach, however I don't think this means that this weapon will be in the game, just that they chose to include it here. But the main focus, the Banshee itself, looks beautiful. Lots of curved pieces are used here, sharp angular pieces and brand new pieces, especially for the cockpit, that grey piece at the front, to really capture the look of this vehicle as it will appear in Halo Infinite. So I am quite excited to see how accurate this is to the Infinite design. The figures are great. Uh, obviously, this isn't the first banished Banshee we have got. We did get the Halo Wars 2 design fairly recently, so a fairly recent re-release. But Banshees are always popular. They are by far the most common Covenant aerial vehicle. So I think that this will be popular with builders. And moving on from that, we have got something incredibly unique and something which I think a lot of us have wanted to see for a while. And that is a Halo ring represented in Mega Constructs format. Now I do mislead you a little bit there, it isn't a complete ring, it is part of the Forerunner ring installation. This potentially looks like the segment that is blown off of Installation 04 in Nightfall. However, it does appear to have... Um, the kind of pine trees and mountains that we see on the Halo Infinite installation um, Zeta. I think it's 05, possibly. Somebody comment below if I've got that wrong. I probably have. Um, and interestingly enough, if this is a blown out segment of that ring, it suggests that we may see that in Halo Infinite, which would be quite cool. Now, you can see bits of the base of the... Uh, 
installation are coming off, like we see in Halo Wars 2, where Anders detaches the kind of plates of terrain. So it's interesting to think about what may be going on here. Perhaps there is a reason why our characters have to go back to this segment of Ring, and perhaps this explains some of the graphics and details we've seen in the trailers so far. So certainly a cool looking build, comes with a beautiful black display base, and is bound to be popular with Halo fans, you know? You can have this on a desk, have it on a shelf, and it's gonna look great, and and it captures the iconography of the brand. Now, accompanying this set, we do have the building box, and this is a cool looking set which incorporates a UNSC structure, a small mongoose, and a micro fleet build of a pelican. So, really interesting little box, small little builds that you get, which you are mainly encouraged to take apart and make other things with. So this, much like Mega's other boxes of parts, encourages you to kind of build your own structures, so your own fire bases, your own vehicles, and really get creative with what you're doing. We do have a Spartan Gunganeer and a Spartan EVA in this pack and it does look cool. Okay, so moving on from that, we have got arguably the most exciting set, Skiff Intercept. So this comes with the Spartan Mark VII, two Silver Brute Warriors and a Grunt Conscript. Uh, but the coolest thing here is the skiff itself. So this is a vehicle that is quite similar to a Prowler in terms of its design language. The curved front especially looks very, very similar to the Prowler. Uh, it has got a 360 degree turret, a cockpit on the back and a transport bay in the middle. Now, Mega's description states that this vehicle will not be pilotable in Halo Infinite, so presumably this serves a dropship-esque function for the Banished, bringing enemies into the field who we will encounter. This looks like a really, really unique new dropship, something we haven't seen in Halo before, and I am excited for this one, and I'm excited to take a better look at it when we do written reviews, video reviews, and all that kind of content here on Podcast Evolved. And then lastly, we have got Defense Point Showdown. So this is a large Halo Infinite inspired banished AA turret with four poseable legs, although they say four poseable legs, it looks like it's three. Um, and obviously that central turret portion. This comes with a Grunt Assault, which is a Grunt Imperial. Uh, Master Chief, so again, another chief figure, this one with dirty boot printing. A UNSC Marine who looks to be female, um, and has got another different skin tone, another mongoose, so you can get two mongoose in this wave, and our new banished enemy, a uh, brute by the name of Hyperius, who presumably could be the brute we heard in the recent trailer from 343. So lots to say about this brute, he has a unique armour design, kind of similar to Atriox in some aspects, uh, looks very, very intimidating, and on his shoulder plate, some of you are going to be upset at this, it does appear that Spartan Locke's helmet is now a part of his armour. So Locke may have crossed paths with Hyperius at some point between Halo 5 and Infinite, and it looks as if it did not end well for our old Oni agent. So really, really fantastic to get a new structure build. Excited to break this one, along with all of these other sets down on Builds With Blocks very, very soon. Uh, we will be recording an episode talking about all of these new sets, what we like, what we wish was different, as soon as we are all able to. So that has been your look at the brand new Halo Infinite sets revealed today by Mega Constructs. These are some really, really fantastic looking sets. Lots of new sculpts, new characters, new armor types and new vehicles. We are very, very excited to discuss these on Builds With Blocks in the next couple of weeks. So do stay tuned for that. Uh, we will also have an accompanying written write-up on the blog, which you can check out to get a read of, get more of my in-depth thoughts on these sets. And we will, of course, be bringing you reviews, photos, and much more content on these items as soon as they are out. So, guys... Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because the Halo Infinite hype train is really just beginning, and we are going to make sure we are here to cover all of it. In the meantime guys, take care and have a great week.